simply learn your pace your place introduction to agile scrum training from simply learn hello and welcome to the agile scrum introductory training course by simply learn agile scrum training course is a blend of agile methodology and scrum practices or frameworks agile is most popular in software development approach and is based on iterative and incremental development where requirements and solutions evolve through collaboration between self-organizing cross-functional teams it promotes adaptive planning evolutionary development and delivery and time boxed iterative approach and encourages rapid and flexible response to change scrum is a framework within which people can address complex adaptive problems while productively and creatively delivering products of the highest possible value it is used to manage complex product development scrum makes it clear the relative efficacy of your product management and development practices so that you can improve it consists of scrum teams and their associated roles events artifacts and rules each component within the framework serves a specific purpose and is essential to scrum's success and usage now that the concepts of agile and scrum are clear to you let us look into the agenda of this introductory course the contents that will be covered as part of this introductory session include definition background of agile and scrum the unique features of this program the audience who can peruse this certification and of course how to avail the agile and scrum certification in the end of this program we have provided you with simply learn contacts for further course of action in the next slide we will understand the definition of agile its variants and advantages Agile means incremental and iterative development of any objective that can be a product or a service. For example, if you are developing a product which is nothing but a set of features, it will be developed in smaller portions in an incremental manner and delivered to the customer. These incremental portions will be called as sprint. There are many variants of agile methodologies like Scrum, XP, FDD, DSDM, Crystal, AUP, and so on, which we will now discuss in detail. Scrum. Scrum is a framework of which we already know, and will be briefed about its background, its reference, and will be briefed about its background, its reference in the next slide. XP Extreme Programming, XP, is a software development methodology. which is intended to improve software quality and responsiveness to changing customer requirements fdd feature driven development fdd is an iterative and incremental software development process and is a client centric an architect centric and a pragmatic software process dsdm dynamic systems development method dsdm is an agile project delivery framework primarily used as a software development method crystal crystal clear is a member of the crystal family of methodologies and is considered as an example of an agile or lightweight methodology aup agile unified process aup is a simple easy to understand approach for developing business application software using agile techniques aup applies agile techniques including test driven development tdd agile modeling agile change management and database refactoring to improve productivity but as far as this introductory course is concerned we are going to see only scrum in detail let us now look into the advantages of agile Agile focuses on most important or high priority items and prevents wastages. 
It produces working software quickly and also delivers value to the customer at the earliest. This helps to make the product fast and in time and recognize customer engagement. The feedback from customer is immediately incorporated in the next incremental releases. Also, there is flexibility in terms of prioritization of features based on customer or market demand. For more details, please look into the website http www.agilemanifesto.org Now that you're aware of the basics of Agile, let's move on to the next slide to learn about Scrum. So, what is Scrum? Scrum is an Agile methodology found by Ken Schwaber, Mike Beadle and Jeff Sutherland and was presented in the year 1995 at a conference. It is by far the most popular one among the industries. The term Scrum refers to the team huddle in rugby which happens just before the start of the game. The Scrum methodology follows the practices similar to that of in the game of rugby. In the recent years, there have been a significant demand for Scrum awareness and Scrum certification in the industry. If you wish to know more details about Scrum, please visit the Scrum Alliance website, http www.scrumalliance.com and http www.scrum.org. Let us now move on to the next slide, in which we will learn about the differences between Agile and traditional waterfall method. The chart that you see here is a survey statistics about Agile method and the traditional waterfall method. If you see the comparison, the chances of a project being successful are more in the case of Agile than the waterfall method. In terms of success, there is an improvement of about 200% in Agile practice. So, it is now clear why the industries are tilting towards the Agile way. We will continue with some statistical facts about the Agile in the next slide. Some of the survey facts will help you to understand as to why Agile is here to stay. PMI research says that the use of Agile has tripled from December 2008 to May 2011. Gartner says about 80% of the software development projects would use Agile by the end of 2012. 74% of IT professionals surveyed had practiced Agile in some form or the other. 55% for two years or more. We know that for anything new that we do, there will be both benefits and losses. It leads to loss if we don't understand the concepts or the methodology fully. To make it successful, one must have the basic understanding of the concept. Can you make the understanding better? Yes, the answer is simple, and you'll know it in the next slide. You are right. The answer is Simply Learn. Simply Learn provides two days workshop on Agile Scrum concepts and certification program. It is conducted by an experienced person who has used the methodology for years and has facilitated many training programs globally and has rich project management experience. The training provides activities based on practical and live examples so that you will not forget about the basic concepts. For future reference, Simply Learn provides additional material with online access privileges. You may be wondering if you are the right audience for this program. Well, let's sort that out in the next slide. Let us see who the targeted audiences for this course are. Members of Scrum Teams Developers Scrum Masters, Product Owners, Managers of Scrum Teams, Teams Transitioning or Intending to Transit to Scrum, 
people intending to pursue the Professional Scrum Master Certification. Now that you're aware of the audiences who can attend this course, let us also understand the certifications that are offered in Agile Scrum. Following certifications are available in Agile Scrum. Professional Scrum Master, Product Owner, www.scrum.org for which participants need to clear online test after the course. Certified Scrum Master, Product Owner, www.scrumalliance.org where participants need to take training from a certified Scrum Trainer and clear online test. PMI Agile Certified Professional www.pmi.org where participants need to take 21 hours of Agile training and clear online test. This course helps with option 1. If you are interested in options 2 and 3 as well, please feel free to talk to us regarding the courses. In the course offered by Simply Learn, we provide you 10 lessons which include Introduction to Agile and Scrum in detail, followed by Agile Methodologies, Scrum Lifecycle and Roles, Scrum Ceremonies and Rituals, Scrum Artifacts, Scrum Best Practices, Planning Scrum Projects, Estimation in Scrum, Monitoring Scrum Projects, and Advanced Scrum Concepts. Along with this, there are quizzes at the end of each lesson, comprising of four to five questions to gauge your understanding on the topic. We will also offer one full-length practice test consisting of one to twenty multiple-choice questions. Thank you for participating in the introductory session of Agile Scrum Fundamentals. Hope you enjoyed the session. For more information, please contact support at simplylearn.com. Well, what are you waiting for? Write to us at support at simplylearn.com or call our 24 by 7 customer support.